What's going on? I'm here with Mike Sandovich. We got a new movie out today, Hoax. Do you want to let people know about that and you know why they should see it? Yeah, sure. So I did a movie called Hoaxed, which is crossover appeal. I don't like boring movies that propagandize on either side. I like movies that are compelling and nuanced, like this band here, which you have to think about, you have to deal with. You just aren't going to walk in and think you're going to watch one thing. You're going to walk in and expecting something and being taken in a different direction. Totally. And what parts to say like left-leaning people are centrist? Because I follow Mike and out of everybody that's conservative leaning, he questions the most things all the time and like really goes the other way. So I, I don't understand why people, you know, have maybe a false perception as some like what what's appealing in the video? Say if someone doesn't like Trump, what do you think they'll like about the film? Well we don't even talk about Trump that much in the movie, other than the media got Trump wrong. What I've always told people is if you hate Trump, you should be mad at the media for deceiving you into thinking he was gonna win. You should have ran a harder game. You should have said, we took it easy, thinking that it was a sure thing for Hillary. And we got conned by the fake news too. So there's a lot of victims of fake news. If I were, if I hated Trump, I would be mad at the media because they lied to me and maybe I would have hustled a little bit more for Hillary. And they nonstop talk about him. Cause I didn't even vote for him. I was in the zone where I was like, oh, I didn't think he was outside the system at the time. And uh, I was just like, man, they nonstop talk about him. I'm, part of entertainment world where any press is good press everyone knows that and they still have learned absolutely nothing so they rely on him for ratings it's such a it's disgusting actually to get on the news get record ratings talking about a, a dictator and then selling advertising talking about a dictator giving free publicity yeah. right why doesn't anybody talk about that which is if you're left leaning why is anybody talking about the, the corporate profits on Trump I, I would say you should tell CNN you need to donate 25% of your ad revenue to charity because you're profiting off a monster, right? That's how you should talk if you're on the left. Demand more from these corporations. And that's all they are. This idea that, oh, it's the media, they're corporations making a ton of money. Treat them that way. What's one message if you could tell people, one message to them and like let them know who you really are, not who people accuse you of on both sides? Yeah, well, whenever people come meet me, they'll say I hate you and everything, and I go, well, that's cool. Not everybody, but 10% of the time, and they get mad that I don't get mad. So if you're expecting a angry man when you come and say hi to me, even if you don't like me, that really is not what you're gonna get. So what should people know about you? Uh, they should know that I've tweeted 100,000 times, so if you can't find 10 bad tweets out of that, you try it yourself. You go tweet 100,000 times and see if we can't find 10 or 20 out of that. All right, well, Hoax the Movie is coming out. The book's out, too. I'm going to check it out, and I'll probably make a review, let you know how I feel. I'm excited because my main cause outside of Republican, Democrat is I think the media has people mind control, brainwashed, misled, confused on both sides, and I think this might be a nice uh, movie for both, for everybody. So, Great to see you in real you. life. All right. You too. Thank you. And thank you, Mike, for He's been really supportive on Twitter, and I, I like to remember and appreciate people who have done that at, at every level. So Mike has been been good to me and he's good man he's good Please to the left as far as republicans and people want to hate on him he does give the counter argument minutes. way more than pretty much anyone else i follow so it's like you really at night too you got twitter working with the retweets so but, but wine twitter when i get open up a bottle of wine put my daughter to bed and then i'm on twitter that's the best hours